Okay, what we're gonna be talking about today is lights. When it comes to catching bullfrogs, you need a good light. There's a lot of different brands out there that you can use. There's not one specific brand that's gonna catch more frogs than the other. Uh, there's some lights that are brighter than others, some that last longer than others, yada yada. Shouldn't have to even say that. But I will show you what I use and I like, and it's not expensive uh, when it comes to investing in some lights to catch frogs. Uh, but first off, I will show you the bush nail. Uh, I got this from like Walmart, and I think it was somewhere from 30 to $50 or something like that. And uh, it takes six AA batteries, and uh, it's got a really bright LED, and it's got the red light and like a blood tracking light. The only light I use is the bright LED. Uh, I like to use this in the boat or walk in the banks. Um, I put it right up to my mouth like that, and it really, really helps catch that eye shine better. Having the light protrude out. Not, you know, not holding it away like this. Sometimes that reflectiveness off their eyes doesn't really come back at you like you want. And if you put that light right there like that, works out pretty good. Uh, same way with like a big spotlight. If you hold that big spotlight kind of in front of your face, helps pick up the reflectiveness of their eyes better. There's that. And I carry that with me all the time. But whenever I get close to, or whenever I find a frog and I get ready to sneak up on it and all that kind of stuff, I'll dish this in the boat or on the bank uh, sometimes and I click one of these lights on right here. And I actually bought this one at Tractor Supply Company for like 12 bucks. Uh, it comes with a little adapter deal in there for some AAA batteries. Or you can use some of these big batteries. I don't even, I don't even know the specific, uh, what you would even call these batteries. They're like 3.7 volt uh, lithium ion. I don't know. They're good batteries though. I stole this one out of this light. I'll get to that one in a second. But uh, this light right here, it was like 12 bucks, like I said, truck supply company. I was just walking through one day shopping. I saw it and I was like, holy crap. So I bought it. And I like it because it's one click on, one click dim, one click off. It's not none of that flashing and all that kind of stuff. And pretty cut and dry. There's no extra lights on it, nothing like that. So the battery is strictly just for this one LED right here. And it lasts a pretty good while. I'd say a couple hours. Uh, but if you're like me and you frog till daylight, sometimes you, you need more than just this or you need more batteries. Uh, I got this one from, I think I got it from Amazon. And uh, it's pretty good light. Uh, it's got the square LED just like that other one. And it's got the spot and then you got both where you can put them on and it's got that emergency light but uh it's pretty good light it, they're, they're both pretty comfortable there's not really anything uncomfortable about them they're really light and uh this takes that same battery this one actually takes two of them but it'll actually run off of one so i need to get more of these batteries once i find out what they're actually called i mean i got all the numbers on here i could order them but uh yeah, it's a good light. I always carry these three with me. I need to get more just to have more. Can't ever have enough lights when it comes to frogging. But, uh, so that's it. That's what I use to go frogging. It's probably going to change eventually. That's just what I have right now that I'm using to go frogging with. There's so many other different kind of lights you can use. You can use spotlights. Uh, if you're catching frogs out of a boat a lot, there's a hard hat lights that have a wire that run back to a car battery something like that you know you can use those also there's a lot of different avenues that you can go to when it comes to lights and catching frogs just as long as it's bright enough to blind them and you can gig them or uh, grab them barehanded uh, that's really what you need to focus on so thanks for watching there's gonna be a lot more videos uh, getting more in depth with other stuff when it comes to frogging and stuff like that. I'll probably do some bass fishing stuff too. Got a lot of hunting stuff coming up. But uh, yeah, just wanted to throw that out there. I spend too much time trying to make videos that I think are cool, editing them, you know, slow-mo stuff and all that, which I do like it and I'll probably never stop doing it. But I need videos like this on here too. That way I, I can answer the questions this way rather than reply back to comments and Snapchats and 
Facebook messages and stuff like that because I don't get like a ton of messages, but there's always somebody that's asking every now and then, you know. So this is for y'all. So enjoy. Uh, be sure to check out the rest of the videos. And I'll see you in the next one. Yeah.